Hey friends, so I recently did a video about insecurity and how insecurity is rooted in fear and I'm not one to ever share information without or, or point out a problem without sharing a solution like I, as a matter of fact, as a personal mantra, I believe that we should just all be facing our problems, looking for solutions and getting back to brunch that is, that is me, I, I mean, I'm serious about food and I'm not opposed to having alcohol before 12 so brunch is my thing as well as solving problems so that's what we're going to talk about today what happens when insecurity comes up because like i said it's rooted in fear and we've all had instances when we've been fearful mildly fearful moderately fearful very fearful it's happened to every one of us and as a midlife woman i know there's many instances where, where fear could have actually stopped you in your tracks where you have felt like if oh my gosh the fear i'm feeling right now this is it this is the end of the world there's nothing else coming after this there's no hope there's no way through and if you have the right tools and the right attitude and the right people around you you're actually able to navigate through these situations of of fear and recognize that every encounter of when fear arrives is a is an opportunity for you to either succumb to fear or to up level your your faith and so we're going to be looking at some of the 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 things that we can do when we feel fearful and when that insecurity rises up in us because it rises up in all of us now to go a little further insecurity is you're able to triumph over insecurity right the, the main way you can do that is to get deep into self-love i mentioned that in the video as well and i will leave the link to that video in the description of this one so you can go back and take a look if you missed it and because insecurity can be overcome with self-confidence then we have to always be actively looking at ways we can build our self-confidence self-confidence of course is linked to things like self-esteem and self-love those are the two things I believe really help us to build our self-confidence. Getting to learn about ourselves and love ourselves, accept ourselves for who we are and keep improving or developing as we see fit. And also by learning to rely on a, a lifted up self-esteem. So self-love, self-esteem, self-confidence. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I think we can do to help build our self-esteem and to kick insecurity is to stop shooting ourselves <laughs> should i should have done this i should have gone here i should have called him i should have said that i should have whatever every time you tell yourself should that causes you to build this kind of judgment against yourself and as the judgments build naturally the resentments start to build against yourself like you know why didn't you say that it moved from oh gosh i should have tell her that you know so why didn't you say that and then you start without even recognizing internalizing all of that and judging yourself and the best way to, to help yourself to stop the shooting is to just accept yourself for who you are and accept situations for who they are as well and accept people for who they are so you didn't tell her as whatever you wanted to really tell her the opportunity in that instance is gone but there are many other holy instances to come around so you can decide i'm going to have this intentional conversation i'm going to call up a little later when i'm in a better frame of mind when i've had my thoughts together when i have some solutions that i can offer her in the conversation and i can tell her what i wanted to tell her and we could have this and we could solve the problem or we could get back to brunch okay so instead of shooting take some time to gather your thoughts and act on it and don't just say, well, I should have do that. Think of the next best move and make it. The next thing you can do to help build your self-esteem, bolster your self-love, get that self-confidence, and of course, kick insecurity to curb, is to stop comparing. You are a unique expression of God. You don't need to be anybody else but you. He put you here in this time, in this region, in this whatever country you are in, whatever place you are in, whatever age you are presently, he's created you for such a time as this. And the comparison trap they fall into when you see somebody else doing something that you feel like you want to do, instead of saying, oh, but you know, she's smarter anyway, she's thinner anyway, she taller anyway, remind yourself of all your gifts and talents and be inspired by people instead of trying to compare yourself to them you can't compare well you could compare yourself to other people but 
it don't really have no benefit to that because you will never be that person and that person will not be you focus on your strengths build those up use them to the best of your ability and like ask god how you could use your, your skills and talents and abilities um and whatever way you can serve, if you can serve in community, if you can serve in your career, if you can serve in your family, you know, you, there, there are a lot of ways that we can use our skills and abilities to our talents to, to help other people. And so instead of comparing yourself, dedicate whatever it is you want to do to service because sometimes the comparison thing is just too much potential they have lock up inside you you see other people doing other things that you want to do and you feel like well why not me and why this and this is and i can do this just use it wherever you can use it if you can't use it on work use it in church if you can't use it in church use it in your community if you can't use it in your community use it in your family there's always somebody who needs something uh, the gifts that you have, find a place and use it. And you'll find yourself being so happy and fulfilled that you won't even have time to recognize what anybody else is doing. And honey, that is a blessing. And that's a great way to kick insecurity to the curb. The third thing you could do to eliminate insecurity while building your self-esteem and your self-love and your self-confidence is to prune, prune your relationships. We are some tools, all of the five top people we spend the most amount of time with. So I want you to do me a favor today, tonight, whenever you have a little time, just sit down, give yourself 10 minutes, put 10 minutes on your time, on your phone, on Alexa, wherever, and think about the people you spend the most amount of time with, the five people you spend the most amount of time with, and think about who they are to you, what they contribute to you, what is their life like, are you inspired when you're around them, do you get around them and you, you all... You know, get together and talk because you like how you feel when you're able to contribute to the gossip and contribute to the drama and contribute to the, and y'all can sit together and talk about a problem over and over. Or do you feel inspired when you talk to this person? Like, you know, I could actually do this better. I could actually go back to school. I could actually go and take on this new opportunity. I could actually speak to my husband in a better way. I could actually speak to my kids in a better way. I could actually have a better relationship with my mother-in-law because my, I'm looking at my friend, she and her mother-in-law get along really well. Maybe there's something I can do to, you know, improve the relationship I have or do you have a friend who say don't worry she this woman and them no good and when they was young they was bad and now they're like <laughs> is that too random okay fine um okay but all jokes aside there there are a lot of opportunities for you to build your self-esteem and your self-confidence if you look at the people that you surround yourself with if you have people around you who are not going anywhere, not interested in going anywhere, except being in the, in the same place that they are complaining and quarreling and pulling other people down. You do not have a circle, you have a cage, and you need to get the key to free yourself. I'm not saying forget about people, and I'm saying look at where you are and think about, think about where you want to be. Be intent. This is a time for everybody to be extremely intentional about what they want in their lives don't miss it don't miss the opportunity right now to figure out exactly what you want and don't be afraid to go after it. don't think i'm too old don't think i'm too young don't think i'm too inexperienced take the first step towards the thing that you want it might be janky when you just start but you know you just continue and i can assure you you will get to where you want to be and that will help you to remove the insecurity you feel and fear you have about other things because you are showing yourself that I can trust myself by making a move forward. And of course, you want to make sure that the people around you can support you. Like do you, the friends that you have around you, if you tell them you have a dream to start a business, do they say, yeah, girl, do it? Or do they say, mm, but I hear this person, they stop, start it and you know that it fail. Do they support you when you have your business? Do they buy things from you or do they expect to just come and get free things from you? Like look at your, your circle and see if you have an actual circle or if you have a cage and baby girl. Yeah. That would help to ease your insecurity and build your self-esteem by focusing and getting around people who build you up and inspire you rather than people who just have their own so they can have another head count to bring somebody else down okay i mentioned this one before and i'm gonna go back on it again 
if you want to boost your self-esteem boost your self-confidence and get rid of your insecurities you have to be able to accept yourself as you are it's really gratifying i feel like when you recognize that the the only two people that can help you to have a better life is god and yourself and for you to move forward in any way or to improve anything about yourself you have to be able to accept yourself as you are now god accepts you he loves you and he will always be giving you a, a, a path to building yourself up everything in creation verifies that if you look at trees every season they change something they throw off some leaves they grow back up again they grow taller they grow wider they grow stronger every storm that come across them they grow stronger do you know that every time a, a, a tree goes through a hurricane or a major storm they actually their roots actually dig down feet deeper every time a storm happens it's like they just root themselves even more those that don't snap they, they go down even deeper isn't that something amazing about nature and isn't that something that ref that is reflective of how god works like the things that challenge us the things that make us insecure are really meant to help us to dig deeper to know who we are and to be more self-assured and for you to be self-assured you have to accept yourself accept yourself if you're fat if you're slim if you're single if you're divorced if you had children if you do have children if you do have money if you have plenty of money and you don't know man whatever it is accept yourself as you are and then you move towards whatever fascinating future you're trying to create. This midlife thing is amazing because you get to the point where you realize it is a it's a good place to just let go of some of them things you used to carry, all them bags and burden and things you used to carry about what you should and whatever it could be. It's like you're allowed the freedom of doing it. And that's what I want you to enjoy. And as soon as you start enjoying that, the insecurities will flee. Because they can't exist in a, in a in a space of a woman who is loved and accepts herself so try that okay and a man too we really need our men to be less insecure but that's a whole other conversation <laughs> another great way to kick insecurity to the club and to build your self-confidence and self-esteem is to keep affirming yourself this is something i totally believe as a matter of fact if you follow me on five years of 40 on instagram i do daily affirmations for us to feel grounded and secure and to remind ourselves of our worth and who we are as individuals in as a midlife woman i love being reminded daily that i am loved that i am wonderfully and fearfully made and so i share affirmations on five years of 40 so you can go ahead and follow me and we'll do those together and and just remind ourselves that you know we've been through a lot of things before and we will have we do have the strength and the tenacity and the wisdom to go through whatever it is that life throws up against us and it, it starts in our words because you know we speak life and you, you speak things into being and it starts with our words and when we affirm ourselves that's what we're doing we're we're reiterating that this is who we are this is who we're going to show up as in this season of our life and the final thing i that we can do to help boost our self-confidence to boost our self-esteem boost our self-love and to kick insecurity to the curb is to just learn from the mistakes or as a matter of fact oprah says it that there there's no such thing as mistakes there are lessons there's there are wins and there are lessons so i believe that every time you come up against something that feels like it's a loss that feels like if, if it's a, a failure or a mistake just remember that you, first of all you're human you're allowed to do those you're allowed to make those okay i don't care what other people say and usually the people that have the most to say about you when you have a mistake are the ones that are like sis there's no space in their closets for the skeletons that are in there oh but that too is another conversation anyhow so usually when we make mistakes the thing that make us feel the most is like oh my god what will people see what will people do that and that's understandable we're part of community that's that could happen but what i want you to remember is beating up on yourself trying to think like how like what other people will think doesn't change anything what changes is when you recognize ah sh this happened let me see how i could try and 
learn from it. Let me share the information with somebody who I recognize might be on, along that same path to yank them out and so that they can make a different decision. Let me see how I can use it to enrich my future, my future experiences. Let me see how I can use it to bring joy in myself and others. Mistakes are not meant to keep you um, locked in or shut down or whatever. They're meant to help you to have a more refined life experience. And you do that when you don't let ex um, mistakes be a block, but you use them as learning experiences. Okay. And that is it. I just wanted to make sure I left you with some information apart from the, apart from the fact that yes, insecurities are rooted in fear, but there's always a way out under grace. And this is these tips that I just shared are some of the things that we can all do. Let me know which one resonates most with you and I'll see you guys very soon.